Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to display multi column in drop down list. Basically most of the drop downs or combo box has populate only one column of data but this multi column combo box help us to display multi column data in single row. So before I going to start I would like to ask you a favor if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe. This one is that I have created one boilerplate MVC code and now open the SQL server. In the SQL server I have created that employee DB database and created one table that is an employee tables will open. So in the employee table that employee ID is the auto number and name, salary and post. After that I have added some dummy data that uh, with the name, salary and the post. This one is the auto number. And this uh, one I am going to display, this particular data I am going to display in that drop down that all those record. Okay. So now open the Visual Studio. Now I am going to add that entity framework to retrieve that data. New item data edit entity model that is an employer db click on add and then next after that then click on next then select that your table that is employees table and click on finish because in that visual state there is a no control or no html helper to display that multi column in for a drop down list so that's why i am using the third party that is a telric now I'm going to add the control. So right click on the control, add the control, going to give the name that is with the home control. Now going to add the view, right click on the index, add view. For here, first we need to add some reference. So that I'm going to copy and paste it. That is a telric reference. And after that, here I'm going to change that multi column drop down list. Okay. Now press that. Here I'm to add that some div. That class. I'm going to use the container. MD three inside the div, then class so the otherwise leave that one. So I'm going to this that div employees. implies after that give that style width will be that 100% 100% now call the javascript first i am going to add one public action or it will be the json result json result get all implies going to create the constructor imply db entities then create the variable object will be entities then now I'm going to create that object of imply db entities now it will return into the JSON return JSON it will be dot your implies dot to list the next one will be the json allow gate okay, that one that got get all all implies so here we'll start and script tag a script type is equal to your javascript inside that have to write like a dollar 
dot document dot ready document dot ready function So here we we'll write the data source data source equal to new so we need to write like a kindle dot data dot data source dot data source okay So one by one we will understand that now it will be the transport. So inside the transport that it will be the read method because transport means like that CRUD operation. It's like a create, read, update, delete. So in the transport I have I am writing that one read. So in the read, so in the read operation first I am going to write that URL that what will be the URL that is a home controller and then get employees get all employees this one okay the next one will be the data type that will be the JSON okay basically if you will look at this transport it's saying that's a Kendo UI transport help us to to the operation read update delete and create so after that i have mentioned that a read so it is used to read the respective type data from the manipulation that url that particular url and data type is that uh, what type of data is should support to reading now I'm going to add the dollar imply what is that div implies so here we will write like a dollar id selector div implies dot your kindle multi column combo box so inside that to write first one i am going to write data text field so it will be simple it will be a text field what you want to display once uh, that user will select so what field you want to display so data text field will be so open the school server that way i am going to display the name so just copy this one that is name just paste the name okay the next one is that data value field so data value field will be the your value so what's the your value that is your employee id just copy and paste it here ok that second part is done and what height you want to display that height I'm going to display that 450 so next one is that your columns ok so column will be that in array how many columns you want to display once uh, that user will click on drip down, uh, drop down arrow so you can display so first one is that this one I am going to move here that a field field what's the name of the field first one is that I am going to display the name ok that is your field name then second one is the title the header part what's the header name will be so I am going to display the employee name ok the now I am going to display the width so width will be 150 this one then second seem like other also just uh, that first column this one is the first column now I am going to add the second column so move this one here second column what the second column is that salary now second I am going to display the post then salary 
so second one will be the here post so imply post 150 then again going to copy and paste it here just move this side this one will be the salary salary so imply salary otherwise if you want to delete so you can delete this one post it will be display this simple post or salary the employer salary that's all this one is your column if you want to add more columns so you can add it here okay, this one delete so that columns part has been done the next one I am going to add filter so which what kind of filter you are going to use so I am going to use that contain contains filter this next one is that this one is the filter field so which which columns that filter is required first one is that name column filter is required then your post column also filter is required and then salary column also filter is required okay filter this copy this one paste it here that filter okay that filter filter the save it next one is the your data source now finally it's coming it's your data source so data source is coming from here this one is your data source this paste it so all those things has been added first as this one is a data text field okay a data value field what will the height of that drop down that is we mentioned that 450 what all columns you is you want to display in, in the drop down list so i have added that three columns it will be the three columns name post and salary and then filter that filter types that is actually filter type that contains filters means like a, if a something i have mentioned that i want to search salary if i will enter la also it will be the search before and after uh, like in a sql server like a like a statement is there then percentage is there before and after so its contents will search like that only here i have mentioned that which column it's going to be filter just like if i mentioned that name post and salary means the one what i am going to write in a drop down list so it will be searched in all three columns and data source what data source is that data source is coming from here so you can see that is a data source okay. now if you run the application let's see you can see here that uh, drop down. if I'm going to click here so you can see that name post salary is coming and there are all those name is displaying here name and then post and the salary if we I'm going to search with like a clear clear to see see so it's searching that one it's a content search that's why this one is coming also scatlet this one also is coming and uh, here that clear that this also is coming all thing is coming here now if I want to search the salary just I will enter that like a 6000 so it's searching that one 6000 okay now I'm searching that clear so this one all is coming that clear this clear also is coming that's why it's coming there in the two row okay now review one times so first what we have done we have created one database that is employer database and the employers have created one table that is employees tables okay okay and i have added some dummy data here next uh, let's open the visual studio i have added the reference here and after that uh, I, have, I have calling that one one data source that is a kindo data source and that this particular path it's, it's returning that one json so if you will look here, I have mentioned that home that can do get uh, all employees. I have created one action method that is a get all employees. And here I am getting that the all those employees. Next is that here I mentioned that one that can do multi column combo box that is actually its name because uh, that particular D I am going to convert into that multi column combo box. So first one is that data text field, data value field. And that height I have mentioned, and then columns that all those columns which I want to display in that drop down list, 
then it's fill filters and that filter fields and the data source so data source I am getting from here okay now we will display that one while going to chain on chain so it will give display the value just copy this one so here I am going to write like a change function the change function and it will be that simple this I am going to display into alert alert this dot value Just save it and reload select that one that clear and then if I'm going to select Kevin to one now if I'm displaying the Madden to help okay that all this value while on change also and if you want to button click so you will get the value the same like that just uh, that your div name dot value so you will get the value because here I have mentioned that data field value field with the employee ID okay I hope it's a clear thanks for watching